Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to open up zip files if you're unable to open them in your Windows computer. So this brief tutorial will show you guys how to do it pretty quickly. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to open up Google Chrome because it seems like it's a pretty popular web browser. And I'm going to navigate over to google.com here. And I'm going to type in WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. And best match that comes up should be for rarlab.com. You want to open that link up. And now you want to select, if you're using a localized different language, you want to select it from this list here. So I'm just going to select English 32-bit because I'm running a 32-bit operating system. So I'm going to select that download should be pretty quick and you want to click on this executable to open it up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device you want to select yes and you want to make sure it's a verified publisher as well now this is the number one or one of the top archiving and unarchiving utilities in the computing industry now I don't know exactly where they all stand but this one is pretty high up there in terms of the download base and how many people use it and are aware of it. So we're going to select install. Keep in mind it's a 30 day free trial without any pop-ups. After those 30 days you're going to have to wait I believe about 10 seconds between when you open the program and when it will let you access the main user interface. So I just want to put that out there but besides that the functionality is the same so you want to click on OK to confirm this. Click on this Done button. And there you go, guys. If you have any archiving utilities or any programs you need to archive or unarchive, you should be able to open them now, now that we have this third-party utility. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.